Hi guys, it's Tasha. Today I'm going to do the um, homeschool tag. I saw it first on Shoestring Homeschool channel and um, I guess it was originally done on Jen's Family Life. So there's going to be 12 questions here. Um, the first one is why are you homeschooling? And um, we're homeschooling because I think that I like the fact that with homeschool I will be able to cater it to my daughter's abilities and needs so if they are lagging behind in a subject I'll be able to take the extra time with them and if they are accelerating in a subject then I don't have to hold them back um, we can go at their pace and we have more time to spend on learning things. So that's the main thing is that we're able to individualize it for our kids. Um, and then we get to spend more time with them and doing things as a family. Number two, what do or does your child think of homeschooling? Well, kind of different in the fact that my kids are still preschool age. Um, I have two. One is about to turn two, so we're doing preschool at home with her, and then my other one is only three weeks old. So um, they don't really have an opinion on it yet, but my, as far as homeschool versus traditional school, but um, my almost two-year-old, she loves when we go into her, her, um, classroom and do her activities and her shelf work and circle time she loves it if I uh, close the door and don't let her in she has a fit so she's ready to do it every morning number three is your extended family supportive um, I don't really know I guess they're supportive <laughs> um, um, they don't they're not actively against it so Number four, were you homeschooled? No, I was not homeschooled. I did take some online classes um, from home in high school to finish up a couple of credits and uh, in college, but I was not homeschooled. I went to public school. Number five, the best advice you've been given or have to give? Um, the best advice, I think, has been to be flexible because it can be so easy to get overwhelmed and um, burnt out um, so being flexible and understanding that it's okay if everything doesn't go exactly according to plan that's a big thing especially for me because I like to have a plan and I like things to go exactly the way I have it planned so that's that's something that I'm learning to uh, let go a little bit. <laughs> um, number six, favorite thing about homeschooling is the fact that I get to be with my daughters and I get to see them grow and learn. It just makes me so happy to see them learning a new thing um, and, and just see the fact that when they're out and about, not necessarily during school time, but just out and about doing whatever I can see their growth and the things that they're learning that way too from the activities that we've been doing in our school time so um, the least favorite thing about homeschooling is probably the planning part I love to plan but at the same time I get overwhelmed really easily and I tend to be a very detailed planner so it, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I, I like the planning, but it, it can be overwhelming at times. So, um, number eight. The most annoying comment you've gotten. Hmm. I haven't really gotten any annoying comments um, too much. I mean, a lot of people mention the socialization thing, but I'm I just tell them you can socialize your kids without sending them to um, a public school. That's not a requirement for a kid to be socialized. But um, I don't. I don't really get too many 
annoying comments yet. Now I'm sure as my kids get older and we get into the um, elementary grades, maybe there'll be some more. So, But so far, not too many. One thing that has not worked for me, um, the, or one thing that has not worked for you, has been... Hmm, I think one thing that has not, well, my homeschool room, I had it set up in a way that was not working for me, so I'm redoing that. Um, but another thing is not having things planned out. Um, I had things planned out to an extent, but um, I need things planned out really, really detailed. And then if I have to switch things up and change things, I can. But um, and that's not a problem, but not having it planned out like for the whole month in advance or however long in advance, that has not worked for me. So now I am planning out at least a couple of months in advance to give me a head start. Um, one thing that has worked for me is um, being flexible, being able to... Um, follow my daughter's lead so if she shows that she's interested in something we take it and we run with it um like for instance she's learning her shapes right now she's she's not too into the colors but she's really into shapes so we're learning shapes and also numbers and I've noticed with her learning style she just picks up things randomly so we could have been going over it for a month and then one day she all the shapes for a month and then one day she just picks up six shapes and now she knows six of her shapes or um, I think last week she in one day she learned to identify like five or six of the numbers so it just comes to her and when she gets it then I I can adjust and move on and I love that I, I love that we're able to do that uh, number 11 what's your homeschool style I don't have one specific homeschool style yet and I don't know if that'll evolve in time um, right now we do some Montessori activities and we do some um, worksheets we do uh, hands-on activities we just I just do anything anytime I find an activity and I think it will be it will be um, she'll she'll be interested in it then we do it and she she loves it so I don't really have one homeschool style yet that could change and number 12 does your spouse help with homeschool um, my husband works and we do our school time in the morning so he doesn't really um, help with homeschool but um, he she loves when her daddy comes home she loves to show him the things that she learned and so he's involved that way and he's really super supportive of the homeschool um, that we're doing that we've decided to do so that's the homeschool tag and I hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye